Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. David and Charles had sent me five crochet books to review for you, and I think you are going to like them very much. The first book is called Crochet Southwest Spirit by Susan Kennedy. This book contains 20 bohemian patterns that are inspired by the American Southwest. The color work is gorgeous in these patterns, and as you can see, I made her wall hanging pattern for myself. Now the next book is called The Hooktionary, and this one was written by Brenda K.B. Anderson. This book is a crochet dictionary of 150 modern tapestry crochet motifs. There are motifs for just about every occasion, season, topic, you name it. I used the cat chart from the book to make my cute cell phone case. I used the back loop single crochet stitch method that Brenda suggests for my case. Next, on to the crochet journey book. This one was written by Mark Roseboom, and it's a wonderful global crochet adventure book filled with patterns inspired by Mark's travels. And how beautiful are these crochet textured hexagons? I am completely in love with this scarf, wall hanging mandala, and this gorgeous blanket. If you like lace shawls, this pattern is just for you. So I highly recommend Mark's book for the variety of projects in it. Next, if you are into crocheting for babies and children, this timeless textured book is just for you. There are incredibly gorgeous and textured patterns in this book. The best thing, at least for me, is that almost all of the patterns use a DK weight yarn, which is readily available in most places and is very easy to crochet with. And finally, this Crochet Collage Garden by Chris Norrington contains absolutely gorgeous floral and other nature-inspired designs and motifs. There are flowers for every season, including spring, summer, autumn, and winter, plus many ideas for embroidering and embellishing on crochet. I hope this video has helped you, and please check out these and other works by the wonderful publisher of fiber art books, David and Charles.